Hello everyone, on today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can combine SDXL Jericho with SDXL Refiner to add detail to your generated images, alongside with the upscale node that allows you to generate high resolution detailed images. So let's dive into the video. But before we start, make sure to download the latest version of SDXL Jericho. Go to hugginface.co, the link is on the description and download the 7 GB version. Next, go to the STXL Civil AI model and select Refiner. Then, just download the Refiner here. After that, go to your Copy Y folder into the model. Copy the STXL Refiner and STXL Turbo here. Then, restart your Copy UI and we are good to go. The purpose of this video is to show people step by step how to use Comfy UI and SDXL extensions. If you don't want to waste your time, you can download directly my workflow and use the nodes for your image generation. First, we're gonna start working from the default nodes. Go to the load checkpoint and change to SDXL Turbo. In order to use the SDXL Turbo, we're gonna need some additional nodes to make it work. So double click and add SD Turbo Scheduler. Plug it with the model. Then use the Sigma point and add a sample custom. Delete the key sample and plug it into the VAE decode. Now I'm gonna add the click text positive and the negative. Also don't forget to plug the model into the model and the latent into the latent. Let's add the sampler. For my case, I always use sampler DPM PP. Okay, I'm gonna delete the saved image to avoid having a lot of saved images on my hard drive and add the preview images. And here we have our SDXL Turbo notes. Now we're gonna work on the SDXL Refiner notes. But before we do that, let's add a group. I'm gonna scale it up. And right click, fit group to notes. Click right click again. And I'm gonna change the title into SDXL Turbo. Good. Now let's add a load checkpoint. And I'm gonna change it to SDXL Refine. Let's add a clip text SDXL. And we also need a key sampler advanced. Okay, let's duplicate this clip text. And plug the positive and the negative. Here, just select the, just select one of them and right click. Select convert text G to input. And do the same for the LG input. Now let's use this nodes. Go to utilities and add a primitive. And here we have our positive prompt. I'm gonna duplicate. I'm gonna first delete this one and duplicate those nodes. Let's connect, let's connect everything together. And now, we're going to need our VAE decode. Plug the VAE with the checkpoint loader. And we're going to add a preview image. For the latent, we're going to use the latent of the generated images from the SDXL Turbo. Now 
The reason I am chosen the SDXL Turbo Note is because it is fast for image generation, and some of some people consider it as the real time image generator. So now, now, so now we have basically our SDXL Refiner Note. Let's add the group. Scale it up and fit group to notes. Let's change the name as the Excel refiner. And I'm gonna choose a different color. It's gonna be red. Good. Now that we have our notes, let's give it a try. But before we do that, let's first copy the prompt here. I'm gonna use the default prompt and paste it here. For the SDXL Turbo Notes, reduce the CFG scale to 1 and increase the steps, which gives you a lot more details compared to, to the 1 steps. Okay. Let's click Q prompt. Oh, I forgot to plug the model here. Let's do it again. The SDXL Turbo takes a lot more time the first time that you use it, but then it's gonna become more faster. Let's wait for the refiner. Okay, the first image was not really good, but I was anticipated. So I'm gonna change the prompt and see what it gives me. I'm gonna type Earth from Moon Futuristic City. And for negative prompt, I'm gonna type, but shapes let's copy this prompt and paste it here and also type bad shapes in the negative prompt okay let's give it a try here we have our image Let's wait for the refined version. Look at this. Let's open the image. And you can see that we have more details. Now let's change some settings on the key sample of the refined version. I'm gonna set the start up then change the sample name to Euler Ancestral and let's leave the rest as it is. Okay, let's see now what we have. We have our image. And now we have the last one. Look at this. It is more it is more impressive and we have more details. But it is still low resolution image. So to fix that we're gonna add some upscaled note to obtain the final high resolution image. Now let's work on the upscale images. Start from the VAE decode of the SDX server final and add VAE encode. Let's add checkpoint loader. And here you can choose another model. I'm gonna use the Dream Shaper or the Realities Edge XLM from Turbo XL. Okay, 
let's add the key sample. Plug the model into the model and add some key text encode, a positive and a negative one. Now let's add a VAE decode and plug the VAE into the VAE and add a preview image. Select the preview image, right click and on title, click STXL Refiner Upscaler. Now we can see the difference between the preview images. I'm gonna put it here. For our latent image, we need to plug the latent with the latent. But before we do that, we need an upscale factor. Let's add latent upscale by. And here we have our upscale factor. Okay. For the image, I'm gonna also add an upscale load model. Upscale model loader. I use an ultra model. There is a lot of uh, upscale model. You can download them from the internet. And from the upscale model, let's add image upscale with the model. Plug the image into the image. And here, plug it into the preview image. And now we have our upscaled nodes. I'm gonna add a group again, upscaled, and fit group to nodes. So I'm gonna select ruler ancestral, reduce the noise to 0.5. Otherwise, the upscaler gonna change your images. And let's leave the rest as it is. Okay, now we're gonna click to prompt. And let's see what we got. Oh, I forgot the VAE encode. Let's do it again. And I'm gonna wait for the results. Here we have our STXL version, the refined version, and now let's wait for the upscaled version. Wow, look at this. And here we have our upscaled image. Of course, you can play with the CFG scale or the upscale factor to obtain different results so that's it for today's tutorial thank you for watching if you like this video push the like button for me and leave a comment if it was helpful for you thank you